Hi everyone and welcome to Leah's Crafting and Crochet Chit Chat. This is episode number one and I'm going to fudge this and learn as I go. I have wanted to do a video for a long time but I have put it off for various different reasons. One of them is what if it's crap and nobody likes it and it goes to the rubbish bin but Life has taught me over the last few years that nothing ventured, nothing gained, and it's too short, and we can't live with fear and let it take over our lives because life is scary enough without making it scarier for ourselves. So this is me pulling my big girl pants on and trying it something new, and I hope you like it. Um, I would like to give a shout out to Gypsy Rose and to uh, Mary from Mary's Crochet Chit Chat. Your um, support and encouragement has helped to get me here today. I had planned to do this two days ago for my birthday, but life and everything got in the way and here I am now posting hopefully um who am i hmm. i'm 47 year old mum of two adult children i'd really like to know where those years went because my youngest turned 18 a week and a bit ago and i really don't know where they went um i'm a sydney cider and i love living in sydney um i love escaping to the coast too but i love sydney for the most part and I am so proud of our city because it's vibrant, it's full of life and who wouldn't want to come to Sydney? I mean, seriously, the views, everything. But yeah, but that being said, I love nothing more than to escape to the south coast and unwind and, you know, chuck off all the shackles of city life and, and just relax. So I do that as whenever I can and the next time I go down there I'll, I'll take a video and maybe post my special place, my happy place, um, so I can share it. But yeah, um, this channel is going to be about crafting and crocheting, predominantly crochet. Um, but other crafts, I, I like to sew. I'm not really good at it and I'm still learning. Um, I um, I learnt many years ago when I was at school. It got thrown to the wayside. It wasn't something that grabbed me like crochet did, so I stopped. Um, but in more recent times, I've bought a sewing machine and I'm teaching myself to sew and my mother's helping me as well and yeah it's good fun so this is a bit bit of everything um i'm a trained counselor and when i'm able to work uh, i work predominantly with people with alcohol and other drugs issues uh, with grief and with general counseling um, and i love it absolutely love it um, Many years ago, I trained as a as a nurse, and um, I loved that. But I injured myself, and unfortunately, I needed to stop. And it took me a little while to find my feet again and to find my love. But when I found counselling, I dived right in with both feet and just loved every minute of it. My training was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be because of illness, both my own and my children. So I needed to stop and start a bit, which was a bit difficult, but I finally finished, which was seriously exciting. Um, but I live with chronic pancreatitis and unfortunately it meant that I was having constant attacks of chronic sorry, constant attacks of acute pancreatitis and that sent me into hospital way too many times. Um, and 
I had a massive operation uh, two years ago and I haven't been able to work since, uh, which breaks my heart because I trained to do this job and to get a better life for myself and my children and I haven't been able to fulfill that dream. Um, just as I was getting my feet, my feet swept from under me and the pancreatitis meant that unfortunately I had to stop work because I'm in constant pain. Um, it's pretty horrific, but I will have another video later down the track talking about pancreatitis and uh, chronic pain and mental health that goes with it because not only am I a strong advocate of mental health and good mental health, I um, I suffer from anxiety and depression as a result of my illness uh, and sometimes that just takes my feet from under me as well. Um, so this channel will also be a bit about awareness of mental health and good physical health and uh, pancreatitis and how it affects not only my life but many other friends lives um, because I've met some awesome people through this journey um, but yeah I've been battling with that for about three and a half years now but the last two years have been pretty pretty torrid um, and I've just last month had another major op where they reopened my zipper as I call it um, and did some more tinkering um, so I'm still recovering from that so that's good because it gives me plenty of crocheting time um, but my journey with crocheting started when I was seven so 40 years ago wow that's that's a whole lifetime um, and my grand my dear grand a wee Scottish lady, lady who um, came out here in 1957 with my pop and her son and two daughters, my mum and her sister. Uh, and she was a ferocious knitter, just amazing. And God bless her, she tried and she tried and she tried to teach me how to crochet, but it just didn't work. It just... No, sorry, she taught, tried to teach me how to knit. Sorry. Um, yeah, taught me, tried to teach me how to knit, and that was just like, not happening. Just not my thing. Could not connect with it, couldn't grasp it. Just, I could cast on, I could do a stocking stitch, but I would lose stitches, I would drop stitches, I would have it grow stitches. It was just, yeah, not my scene. So she thought, well, I'll try crocheting. And I took to it like a duck to water. Um, absolutely loved it. Um, I made lots and lots of doilies when I was younger. Um, there's some still floating somewhere, but yeah, they were a bit rough. But, you know, seven-year-old doing crocheting, they're going to be a bit rough. Um and it was one of those things that I've picked up, put down, picked up, put down over my life. I, I did it during my teen years whenever, you know, there was strife in my life or I wasn't happy or I was, you know, there was just, life was unsettled. Um, and so I'd pick it up and I'd put it down. And in my 20s, uh, my nana in her eight, like late 80s, um, that dear soul, she... Um, she picked up crocheting for the first time ever, had never crocheted in her life uh, and decided at 85 or thereabouts to start crocheting and it became, um, you know, I would teach her different stitches and we'd sit for hours and hours just talking and crocheting and talking and crocheting and that's something I've always loved um, and she was so dear to me and... Uh, God bless her, she knitted, sorry, she crocheted a blanket for almost everyone in the family. And um, it's funny because um, they're such a source of comfort. She's left us going on five years ago 
on the 13th actually and um no the 15th um and her passing meant that these blankets hold all that much more store and they're just um a comfort in many many ways so yeah i would um pick it up and put it down and then when i had my children i crocheted um like bunny rugs and yeah baby rugs and just at that stage all i really enjoyed making was blankets doilies or um scarves i wasn't very game in my venturing out i loved the granny stitch i loved um granny stripes granny squares anything granny i love it um and so my repertoire was pretty minimal like really minimal uh and then um you know life got in the way and i put the crocheting down and I didn't crochet then again, I'd say, till after I left my ex-husband when I was 33. Um, and I had started, at that stage, I had started a granny square in uh, black gold and or black yellow and, and white because I'm a ferocious West Tigers supporter and as this year goes on and the football season starts in two weeks' time, you'll probably hear me very up because we've won or very down because, well, we've lost and I'm a bit bummed by that. Um, and so my tigers, as they were back then, which were Balmain, um, were black, golden and white, um, but predominantly black and gold. And um, so I started this blanket, which was just a series of squares and I would pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. And now what I've done is joined all the squares together but I'm crocheting in the round around it but it's still not finished and I left him 15 years ago um, I think it's one of those comfort blankets that or projects where it just sort of sits there and it's it's there and you know that if you need it you can pick it up but if you don't and you're working along great then you don't need to um, so yeah, that's still sitting in the stash, just burbling along. And um, so I would say probably five years ago was the last time that I really crocheted. Um, and I hadn't done anything until April last year when I was away on holidays down in my happy place. And... Um, I came across, I went into a store of a lady that I'd gotten to know over a series of years um, and just a really lovely soul and she was selling Karen cakes and I was intrigued by these Karen cakes. I mean, you know, the, the, the changing colours and the vibrant colours and just, just love them and the feel of it and everything. So I picked up one of the, the blue the blues I can't think I think it might be blueberry or something like that um, and I then realized that I picked up this yarn but I don't have a hook so I got all the way back to the holiday unit thankfully it was within walking distance and then had to walk all the way back up to go and buy a hook and thankfully she had the clover and more hooks because they're the only ones I I use I love them um, and I um, I started crocheting, just double double crochet, thirty I think thirty stitches, double crochet, and I started and started, and within about three days it was finished. Um, and then I had to go back for more, so I went back for more, and I started another scarf, but it was a an infinity scarf and I finished that within a few days and I thought well so I what's a girl to do but go back for more and since April my stash has blown away like it's probably bigger than it should be for a three-bedroom flat 
that's housing commission it's pretty i have it stashed in every corner possible in my bedroom i don't think there's a spot in my bedroom that doesn't have some yarn in it oh it's so much is my obsession with yarn but since then i found youtube and i started following bella coco and um natasia and blossom crochet and creative grandma and proper pineapple and you know so many people and i've just become obsessed with watching youtube videos while i crochet and it's as the years gone on i've thought you know that's something i'd really like to do i'd really love to join that youtube community and and be a part of something special because the you the crocheting community really is i mean it blows my mind it really it really does and the generosity and the care and the love is just phenomenal so that was what inspired me to do this but since um since that day in april when i picked up the hook i have crocheted every single day since and i do mean every single day since except for days where i am in icu which unfortunately i was in for a week last month or i've had an anesthetic which i've had two of those since april last year as well so every other day though i have crushed i mean as soon as i got out of icu and i was in hospital for another week still i had projects to keep going on for example i took this with me and i finished it this is the somerset shawl by lion brand and it's the unicorn uniquely unicorn is the colorway i call it my unicorn yarn vomit shawl but i love it now i'm a blue greens browns and orange lady but I've got to tell you, when I see wool this colour or any of the other beautiful colours that you get with some of these brands, I can't help myself. I have to buy it. So I'm on a self-imposed yarn bland, self-imposed yarn ban until after Easter, because otherwise I um I go a bit silly. But at the moment. I'm working on um, and it's using the sheepies brand and I've got five colors um, but this is the where is it? hang on this is the uh, quick and easy stone washed XL granny winter shawl and I started it last night and this is how far I've got. Now the colours aren't true here, but I'll show you what they are. It's, um, it is Smoky Quartz, Crystal Quartz, Black Onyx, Amazonite, I really like this one, but my favourite is Blue Aperite, the Appetite, Appetite. Unfortunately, the lighting here isn't the greatest, so they they're not showing up true to colour. But that's my current um, project, which I'm absolutely loving, and is just out of this world but because of my yarn band i have another shawl the juliet shawl which i will admit i have been a bit silly and actually added to and made it larger than what it was so i've run out of yarn and until i've off my yarn band i can't buy any more so it'll have to wait till easter but this is the juliet shawl and it's popcorn the popcorn stitch and double crochet and then a double crochet with a chain one double crochet but it's just it's simple but just so beautiful 
and it's it's um it is um the spotlight brand value ball sweet roll colorway silver swirl it's 100 percent acrylic 140 grams approximately 224 meters or 244 yards so far i've used five balls but it's just so nice and soft and squishy and i love it and i can't wait to use it but unfortunately as i said yarn ban no no more yarn um but that's okay so i'm happy about that i am working on an i do work on other shawls um, I've got another scarf and another shawl that I'm working on but I'm not going to show you them yet I'm going to wait until I talk about uh, my pancreatitis and, and that journey because they I work on them when I'm on the way to doctor's appointments or at doctor's appointments um, they're my saving grace without them I'd be lost because I find um, waiting in doctor's surgeries, particularly when, you know, your anxiety is already heightened, I, I find it difficult. I never used to, but I do now. Um, so taking a project that's just repetitive and easy and quick means that I can just work on it mindfully or mindlessly and I, um, I can relax and I can bring the stress levels down and I can calm but what I'd like to do um, going forward is maybe one to two videos a week sort of see how I'm going um, I'd like to share my whips and my struggles with finished objects um, the fun that is life in Sydney and public housing because let me tell you that's a whole new video um, oh Something I'm really grateful for is my wee Jack Russell. He is just the most darling little thing. And I'm sure that during some of these videos you'll get to meet him. Um, he's a cheeky little devil. Um, but without him and without my children, I'd be absolutely lost. So, yes, he's he's a darling. So, um, you'll have that. Occasionally I'll talk about what tea I'm drinking because I love my tea. And this is my special gum nut mug and I'm a huge gum nut fan um, but yeah please hit the subscribe button please like the video share the video amongst your friends um, I'd really like to um, get to know you all and enjoy my journey with your journey um, but remember when life gives you lemons you have to make lemonade so enjoy life and from my home to yours God bless.